Good morning, your majesties. Happy day five of Vlogmas, or should I say Prince Miss? So I thought about this idea two years ago. So before I get into the scary Christmas story, I thought I'd tell you why I decided to change the name of my Vlogmas videos to Prince Miss. So I've always wanted to um, combine my YouTube name with a holiday like Christmas so um, so when you say princess you would spell it as if you were spelling princess except with the M and not the N so that is my that is why I'm calling my vlogmas videos princess instead of vlogmas and I thought about this two years ago but it never really clicked with me at the time but now it clicks so let me know what you guys think and let's get on to the scary story this one uh, <laughs> this one is called grither okay the grither is a scary story for christmas about a legendary monster who lives in the icy waste at the north pole it is based on an old episode called Tales from the Dark Side, Seasons of Belief. Okay, um, so, okay. So, it was Christmas Eve and the family were gathered in the living room. The father was reading the newspaper and the mother was knitting a sweater. The children, Jimbo and Stefa, were stretched out on the floor with their crowns and their coloring books. Me. <laughs> anyway, um, tell us a story, Stefa demanded. Yes, a scary one, Jimbo insisted. Uh-oh. All right, said their father. I'm going to tell you about the most fearsome, dangerous, appalling creature in the world, and it's called the Grither. Oh, you, oh, now you've done it, said their mother. You said his name out loud. Who is it? asked Jimmo. He's the most awful living, oh no, he's the most awful thing in the world, their father said. He lives in a cave at the North Pole. The coldest, wettest place on earth is where the Grither makes his home. He sleeps in the rack of a ship that somehow got squeezed into the mouth of the cave. He doesn't mind the cold and he doesn't mind the wet, but the thing that he hates the most of all is to hear someone say his name. He was very, he has very good ears and they got bigger every time his name is spoken. Ooh. Um, anywhere on earth. Sometimes his ears get so big, he can use them to fly. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't like this story, Stefa whined. It's too late now, her mother said. We've already mentioned his name. The Grither is probably on his way to our house this very minute. It will probably take him a while to get here, said their father. If we finish the story before he gets here, everything will be fine. Do you know why the Grither is called the Grither? Why, the children asked. Because he has fists as big as basketballs and arms as long as boa constrictors, said the father, said their father with a grin. Whenever he finds the people who have been speaking his name, he opens up his fist and reaches out his arms and he grithers them in. He grabs them by the head and squeezes them and squeezes them until they pop just like a balloon. Okay, no, I don't like that. <laughs> you guys know my phobia of balloons, so yeah. Um, Does he look like Bigfoot? Jimbo asked. No, said the father. He's not like Bigfoot. He's not like that animable snowman either. Either. Nobody knows what he looks like for sure. The only people who have ever seen the Grither are the people are the people the Grither has eaten. He he's as tall as a tree, but he can bend 
all the way over and touch his and touch the ground. His skin looks like a road map because it's transparent and all his blue and red veins show through. The blue is for fear and the red is for rage. Is for rage. <laughs> Hurry up and finish the story before he gets here, Stepha cried. The grifter was born on the sailing ship, said her father. It was blown off course by a storm and got lost in, Arctica, in the Arctica, Arctic Sea. They drifted around for weeks and never saw anything but glace, glaciers and icebergs. Some of the passengers drowned, some froze to death, some starved, and, and the rest committed suicide. Oh, uh, The grifter was born out of the fear and rage of all those people. Um, but why does he kill people? Jimbo asked. Nobody knows, said his father. He just doesn't like anyone telling his story. Is that all, Stepha asked? Is that the end of the story? Not quite, said her father. There's only one way to protect yourself from the grifter. Maybe you should stop, their mother interrupted. I think you've scared them enough. The father chuckled. You don't believe in the grifter, do you? He asked. No. The children lied. Well, you shouldn't, their father said, because I made it all up. There's no such thing as the grifter. But you didn't finish the story, Stefa whined. All of a sudden, the front door blew open and the room was enveloped in an icy blast of wind. There was a crash in the second and the sound of breaking glass. Then two huge gnarled arms reached in through the windows and grasped their parents by their heads. As the children watched in horror, their hands squeezed and squeezed and their parents' heads popped just like two balloons. Now, I have heard of this story. What do you guys think of this story? Um, it gives me, um, Brittany Crabb did a video on it and it gives me, um, you know, it kind of gives me like Candyman vibes, even though, you know, like if you say his name, then, you know, it kind of gives me those vibes. So, anywho, I love you guys so much. If you're new here, hi, I'm Princess Peyton. Hit the red button to become your majesty and hit the bell notification so you're notified every so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I love you guys so much. You guys are the best human beings ever made. And you're the king of my heart in the song lyrics of Taylor Swift. And I will see you guys and tomorrow's video for Princemas, day number six. Okay, love you guys. Bye. Mwah.